The British Army owes an enormous debt to Florence Nightingale because um, she was regarded as a, as a saviour. But there's another interesting legacy of the Rose Diagram. And it is that campaigners today know that in order to appeal to people's minds, they must first appeal to their eyes. The truth of this is something that artists have always known about. In a sense, Florence Nightingale and her contemporaries recognise that you could appropriate certain artistic techniques, things like colour or symmetry, to really press home a political or sociological point and affect real change. But what's interesting is that in the 21st century, it's now artists who are appropriating the material of the statistician, things like data and graphs, to create some quite, well, quite extraordinary works of art. Ellie Harrison is an artist who, like Florence Nightingale, is fascinated by translating information into compelling images. And she has the same objective, to grab people's attention with a surprising idea, and having got it, to make them think. How well do you think Florence Nightingale did with the information that she had and bringing, bringing it alive visually? I think that the diagram that she created is amazing because it is one of the first ever pie charts that existed. So it wasn't like she was dealing with a familiar image at all. It was almost conjuring up something from nothing, which I think is quite remarkable. It really is quite inspirational what she achieved. Can you tell me about your vending machine? Yeah. Um, what I tried to do with the vending machine project was to cre create an artwork that could almost instantaneously react to information, news events that were happening um, right here, right now. So I worked with a programmer to design a piece of software that would actually scan the news headlines on the BBC RSS feed, looking for search terms that related to the recession. And what happened was every time one of these search terms cropped up, um, a free packet of crisps would be vended out. So it's really interesting, you've got this way of marking the term recession in... in I would probably just do a little peak on a graph or something like that, but for you, uh, this, you know, lots of the words recession suddenly turns into, uh, you know, a huge amount of crisps coming out of the machine. Exactly. I think what I'm trying to do as an artist is to deal with this kind of contemporary state of information overload. Um, and obviously, since the birth of the internet, there is so much information at our fingertips that I kind of see it as my role to navigate it in some way and then to bring it to life in ways that are very different from how you engage with information on a computer screen or on the TV or in the newspaper. The beauty of the Rose Diagram lies in its message of liberation. In its cleverly designed way, it forced the British establishment to recognise that army medical practice couldn't go on as it was, killing off thousands of soldiers unnecessarily.